What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Nikki Shay, 32. Um, this is a response video to Kinky Nappy Happy um, Hair Growth Challenge or Protective Style Challenge. Um, basically, it's going to be from... Um, you're gonna, you can do Protective Styles from now until... Actually, it started the 23rd, the first day of fall. 23rd of September to um, the first day of spring. So it'll be about, <clears throat> it ends up being about six months. And um, I'm sure, well, if you haven't heard from other um, viewers who are subscribed to her channel or her herself, um, you do protect the styles for six months. And it's basically your own personal goal uh, to see. Like for me, um, I've been wanting forever, of course, to have healthy hair and to retain um, length and obviously for my hair to grow. Um, and as you can see, it did overnight. I'm just playing. But um, I'll get into this in just a second. Um, but uh, so what I have, what you're supposed to do is respond to her video. Um, you can either say, just, just click and say that you want to do it, that you want to be in or whatever. And uh, it's really simple. I mean, you can go on her page and um, read further details if you want to join or whatever. But um uh, I've been rocking. I actually started a week before I found out about this, and um, I've been rocking mini twists. So under this um, wig, and I don't have a name for her yet. Um, but anyway, I, I still have my mini twists in, but I just have them like flat twisted. I have about, I guess six um, flat twists underneath the pocket cap, and then this bad boy on here. Um, I think I'm gonna rock this for this weekend um it is one of my besties uh wedding she's having her wedding this weekend so actually getting ready to go out of town so i gotta make this kind of short and sweet um but uh yeah i i really it's supposed to be cold this weekend so i really didn't want to wear my hair out so this will be some insulation and protection <laughs> but um so basically what i do my little regimen um i change it up it really just depends on how i feel um but for the most part, I try to co-wash every couple of days. And like I said, depends on how I feel, really how my hair feels, how my scalp feels. When I get to itching and being irritated and everything, it don't really be dirty per se. Like I don't actually like rub up dirt or nothing, but I can just, my scalp is telling me I need to breathe, honey. So please clean me. So I will um, co-wash and I wash maybe once every week or two. Like I say, just depend on how I feel, depend on how my hair feel. Um, I definitely try to deep condition. Oh, co-washes. Co-wash conditioners. Um, I really like the Yes to Cucumbers or Yes to Carrots. Um, yes to Cucumbers, I've been using more now because of the color. Because uh, I do have color in my hair, so I use um, that color one for color treated hair. And then, uh, let's see. Um, I've been trying to use up some conditioners that I have. So, let's see, some honey child. I think it's my honey child. I'm almost through with that. It is all right. Um, what else do I really like? Oh, I go back and forth between the Shea Moisture, the black soap one, or the uh, Yucca, Yucca Boa. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's the green one. And um, it says for thinning hair, but whatever. And I also use that shampoo. Sometimes when I actually shampoo, I use the Yucca Boa, whatever. Um, let's see. And um, uh, so I deep I deep condition. Um, oh, if I don't use the Shea Moisture, the Yucca Boa or whatever one, um, I will use Oyen's. Um, honey wash and I don't know what flavor I still have but that's I'll use that too um but like I said I don't even wash often so that's every week or so um when I did condition I love if I don't make my own which is like um I've, I've been trying like mayo um I've tried that caramel um what is it called it's like it says caramel it's a caramel like you put uh, molasses and all this other stuff in there and it's like a caramel treatment or whatever it's supposed to be extra moisturizing i've tried that 
Um, sometimes I'll just put use my oil, my grapeseed oil, castor oil mixture, and just um, do that as a pre poo. Um, let's see what else do I do? Um, or I'll do a um, just mix up whatever conditions I feel like and let it sit on for about an hour, hour and a half. But when I'm really in need to like let my hair have a good treatment. I love this Curl Junkie Curl Rehab. And I'm sorry about that lighting, y'all. This is some good stuff. Um, as well as this Jesse Curl um, Weekly Deep Treatment. I know y'all can't even see that, but whatever. It's the um, Weekly Deep Treatment, the Jesse Curl, and this uh, Curl Junkie Curl Rehab moisture hair, Moisturizing Hair Treatment. These both are kind of pricey for me personally, 20 bucks. And I think maybe 20 bucks, but um, somewhere between 15 and 20 bucks. I know, but um, which like I said, for me, that's pretty pricey, but it's worth it because I don't even use it, that, you know, that, um, that much. And um, it's great. Like it really, really feels good on my hair and really moisturizes it. So I had to make sure I showed, I had to make sure I showed y'all that if nothing else, um, let's see. So I do that pretty much every time I wash, um, or like I would say every other co-wash. So once or twice a week, depending on how many times I wash my hair. Um, cause I'm always in need of moisture. Can't get enough. I don't think my hair could ever get enough of moisture. <laughs> Let's see. So styles, um, I'm gonna be trying a whole lot of different stuff, which is why I'm kind of excited to do this. Um, I'm always trying to do something new and this will help me definitely for, um, school purposes like you know hopefully I won't have to do too much manipulation to my hair to where I can just get up and go um, and thankfully we have later classes this quarter that doesn't necessarily mean anything because it could change at the drop of a dime but as of right now we are scheduled for later classes so that'll help um, so this bad boy this is my first sew in um, well, not sew in. I just sewed it onto the wig cap. But um, um, a friend of mine actually helped me with it. But it, I threw away the hair. I'm sorry, y'all. I have to get back to y'all if I can remember on um, the type of hair that I used. Um, I know it was from Ion Natural. It's, I think it's E O N. Um, if you want to search. Um, their site and it's the super duper curly uh, color I think 1B maybe I don't know but um but yeah and I only used um, two packs which I thought that wasn't gonna be enough but it's actually real super full I'm gonna try to do a 360 so y'all can see um So yeah, it uh so what I did was um since I thought I wasn't gonna have enough, I actually split the tracks from the beginning. And um when I did that, it naturally, you know, filled itself out. So I didn't have to do too much like brushing or, you know, too much nothing when I finally when I completed the uh when I put it on and it was done. I didn't <clears throat> I didn't have to do any type of like fluffing or brushing or nothing like that. Um, I did kind of cut it or had my best friend cut it a little bit. I think I want to cut it a little bit more or, you know, try to shape it up a little bit more. Um, but yeah, right now this is it. I don't know. I'm trying to let it grow on me. It's not really growing on me yet. <laughs> um, I'm not used to massive hair. So I don't know. But, um, yeah. Um, oh, I guess I can show y'all the little outfit of the day. Um, cause this is another one of my, let me put it down so you can see my shoes. This is, uh, just another little sweater dress that I got from Ross when I did my little shopping. Um, accessories. I actually picked these up from... Dang, I forgot already. Maybe Burlington. Maybe. Don't remember. My best friend gave me these. But yeah. 
and I decided it's a little bit um, cool outside and um, so I wanted to go with the boots too because like I said we're getting ready to get on the road so I want to be comfy I'm going to be chilling um, I have to keep messing with my screen because it keeps cutting off but these are my little boots and these are actually from Walmart they are so comfortable they really like house shoes but I wear them out as shoes um, and they came like this but me personally gotta be crazy and different so I wear them like that but yeah that's the and this is kind of like a um, sweater vest like, like a cardigan but it's connected to the so it's one piece and that's probably my ride so Hey y'all, I'm just coming back real quick to show you um, an updated version or look of the, my new wig that I've been wearing for the um, past couple of days over the weekend. Um, I got several compliments about it. I like the change. I don't know if you can tell. I kind of, uh, I had my friend cut it some more to um, shape it to my face a little bit better because it was just a bit too big for me. Um, and I like this. I'm loving this a whole, whole lot better. Um, I can actually wear this and be confident because before I really wasn't because I just felt like it was just so big and so much and all over the place. But um, I like it. I really do. Um, I still didn't find out the name of that hair, but um, I know it's from Ion Naturals. Um, and you can just search their website. And it was the um, super duper springy coily hair. But like I told you, once I separated the tracks, um, this is basically what I got. I mean, you know, you saw the previous version, but yeah. Um, and I didn't have to do too much to it. And um, it's great. It's this cap that I use is um, one of the supposed to be universal or whatever one size fits all but it's the adjustable one and um i'm liking that a whole lot better because it's not like too hot um before when i did my the ones that i glued on i kind of figured i needed it like a thicker i actually used one of them i actually used the um miss super thick you probably could use it as like a swimmer's cap but it was one of the dudes wave cap things and um mm -mm, that's extremely too hot so this is a lot better. It's a little more airy. Like, I don't, I'm not too hot um, with it. And it may be just because of the weather too outside. Anyway, I didn't mean to get on here rambling. I just really wanted to show you the the updated look to it. Um, let me know what you think about it. And until next time, I holla.